Hi guys, I just made myself some OG and I thought I film another video. I'm a bit in a hurry so I have about 20 minutes and not more but I wanted to speak about the things I would recommend someone who studies architecture in the first year and wants to survive this. So the first point would be to make vision boards for yourself as an inspiration and also if you know the theme of the topic about your project it can really help you to be inspired to visualize the things that you would like to implement in your project and you kind of when you work with a board of inspiration you kind of already know what you would like to have or what your main goal would be so I would really recommend this. Other advice that I will give you is to, you can make fun out of it, but it's really important with what people you surround yourself in university in general. So you could maybe make a little game out of it and with a friend and the goal is to meet someone new each day and then like write it down or count it in your head and then you somehow get to know a lot of people and as I already mentioned in my earlier video we're always stronger together those connections might help you you feel less alone in the doubts of a project or general in whenever you struggle in your studies so I can really recommend that too the third thing would be to listen carefully but also to have your own thoughts about it and what I mean is whenever you think something is beautiful or not you should ask yourself why this is the case and why you like something and why not and not just judge it by an instant and this goes also with the things that professors say or so you should ask yourself why they think this is important and if you agree and if you don't and even if you agree why that is the case this is really important that you still think for yourself but also kind of try to understand why they teach certain things or why they think this and that is beautiful and what the criteria for beauty even is i think you get a hang of it when you start a project you can think of it as something, a problem that you want to solve. This can be a good start but it doesn't have to be. You can also try to implement something. For example, we are often encouraged to be critical about circumstances or problems in our times right now but we also should have an opinion regarding them. And with that, I mean, for example, in the economic, with the environment, with our politics, our personal opinions, and so on, they should be strong and clear. And if you can implement them in your project somehow, so they are, have a positive outcome or effect, this would be a main goal. And it also frames your character somehow because you really have to make a statement somehow and stand on your own two feet tall and strong and show who you are and what is important to you. This somehow goes also hand in hand with making a story like creating a plot or creating a whole story about your project is really something with that you can catch people and you can draw that story, you can write it down, you can even make a poem or so but whenever you present it, the project fails or stands with the story that you present so you should think about this and then it might be clearer why you made certain decisions if you have a good reference story Storytelling is the A and O in architecture, I would say, by sides of beautiful plans and visualizations and so on. 
Don't be afraid to ask whenever you have a problem or doubts or you are not really sure about your next steps in the design process. You can always ask and with this I mean to be somehow open also brave to maybe ask a professor or a friend that is skilled because in some things you might be stronger in a, in a field or you might be just more skilled in something and then you can help them in exchange or it's also nice to get another perspective or another how to get going when you have a certain problem in the project. We often make ourselves the obstacles why we can't get further in the project and this is the critical point where we need to get help even if it's just technical or um, based on problems with your laptop or computer or uh, really design decisions, you can always ask someone and you never know what genius tip you get if you don't ask. Yeah, and I never regret when I asked something. By sides of sometimes you should make yourself ready that not everyone is ready to answer those questions immediately it matters a bit how big those questions are like if you really want a story time or a bit of longer answer you should be aware about when to ask for example at the end of a lecture on, or in a break is a good time to ask something one of the last tips i would say is that architecture can be really a cult of not sleeping, um, not so healthy circumstances in life, I would say. So I would recommend you to give everything, but also make breaks. And with this, I mean to look afterwards yourself that you still feel good in your studies, like to exercise, to sleep enough, to eat enough. This is crucial and so important. And a lot of people forget about this. So I would always recommend this to you, even if it sounds a bit dull. But firstly, look after your health, your mental and physical health, and then give everything in your studies, because you can just go further and you will do better when you are in a good state. So that was it. Very short, very brief. If I forgot something, please write it down in the comments below what you would like to add or if you have questions, I'm also always open regarding them and i see you in the next one and if you didn't subscribe yet and like this video, please follow. <laughs> I forget to say this sometimes and yeah, I plan to do more videos in the next couple of weeks. Maybe I will try to upload once or twice a month. Let's see how this goes doing my studies but right now i still have holidays and i enjoy it with a little creative breaks and yeah i love you thanks for watching if you made it until this far and i see you very soon bye